Alright y'all, welcome back. It's Big Al with Stock Lock Sunday, and the lock we have in front of us is the infamous Master Lock 175. Yeah, 175. Now, we've seen this lock before. Uh, very easy to bypass. Um, I get the question uh, quite often, believe it or not. I just got another one recently, so I decided to make a video on it. Uh, the, the most previous email was from, we'll just go with his first name, uh, David. Uh, he says he's seen the videos, as I have, where it's so easy to take the knife and bypass this lock and pop it open real quick and in a hurry. But, for some people, it's just not that simple. And I'll show you why. I had the same problem at first, and I'll, hopefully I can explain it in this video. Now, the knife, I, I like to go on the second wheel. I guess the, as far as the wheel goes, it doesn't really matter. I like using the second one because it kind of puts you in the center of the lock. So that's what, that's what we'll do for the, just for the sake of the video. Now, we don't need to change the combination on this lock for this, for this, for this purpose of this video. There's no need for that because we're going to bypass it. We're not going to decode it. So, the numbers right now are all zero to open the lock. So, we'll put it all on zeros. And you just press in, and the lock opens up. So, to bypass it, uh, we'll just scramble up the numbers. So, to bypass it, you simply put the knife down in on the side of the wheel. You want it to go down about like that into the lock. You're going to release the locking lever while you push in on the shackle and pop the lock. Now, why, did, why is it so hard for some people? Why was it so hard for me the first few times? Well, here's why. The knife doesn't really want to fit down on the side of the wheel. It wants to kick the knife up. You see how it goes up there? What you need to do is get the knife straight down in there, kind of like an angle like that. So, if your knife does not fit real easily, don't force it. These things are very thin. Don't destroy the tool. I mean, believe me, I like to put my tool in tight places, but I don't want to destroy it. I want to use it later. Okay? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if it doesn't fit real easy and go down in there straight, rotate the wheel. Rotate it a number, see if it fits. Still don't fit. Rotate another number. Still doesn't fit. Keep doing this. Rotate. Still doesn't want to go in there straight. Rotate again. Still nothing. Rotate again. Bingo. You see that? That's the angle you want. And look how easy it fits. You just go down on the side of the wheel and bada boom, bada bang. Now what? Just that easy. But again, if you don't have the wheel in that sweet spot, like we'll use this wheel over here, it just will not go in there. It will not fit. So, you know, you're going to end up trying to force it in there. Wow, it looks so easy on YouTube. Well, that's why. Rotate the wheel. Rotate it till you find that sweet spot. The tool's going to fit right in there real easy. We'll do it again just to show you. Lock it back up. And when it's at the right number, tool goes in. Pop the lock. You're not forcing that tool. You're not going to destroy it. All right, so that's it. Uh, David, I hope that helped out and all the rest of you that have emailed me uh, in the past. That's how you do the Master Lock 175. Uh, bypassing it. Now this was the uh, Peterson knife. Uh, Sparrows carries them also. It's just called a knife, I guess. Uh, very thin tool. But that's how you do it. Okay, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you like this video, hit that like button for me. Thank you.